हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ इज मिसेस जयश्री कांबळे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ झोलॉजी टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू स्टडी अबाउट झू टॉक्सिन दॅट इज फ्रॉम युनिट टू पेपर टू टॉक्सिकोलॉजी नाव बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द झू टॉक्सिन वी शूड नो वॉट इज मीन बाय टॉक्सिन टॉक्सिन्स आर द सबस्टन्सेस और अ पॉइझन प्रोड्यूस नॅचरली बाय अन ऑर्गॅनिझम आयदर फ्रॉम प्लांट ॲनिमल or insect now it can be a small molecule peptide or a protein metabolic products it can vary greatly in their toxicity that means what either some of the toxins are more toxic or some of the toxins are less toxic usually these toxins are produced by all plant animal and insect in the defense mechanism we can give the examples of such as a snake venom nicotine scorpion venom then these toxins are of a three type one is phytotoxin which is released by the plant another one that is a mycotoxin which is released by the fungus and the third one is zootoxin which is released by or secreted by animals now come to the zootoxin Zoo toxins is nothing but a poison or venoms produced by poisonous and venomous animal. Now what is the poisonous and what is the venomous animal? Poisonous animal exert their toxic effect when their tissue come into contact with the another animal usually through the oral contact. While the venomous animals produce venom in a secretory gland or a specialized group of cell and deliver the toxin during a stinging or biting act now these toxins are composed of protein either low molecular protein or either high molecular proteins along with the proteins it also consist of amines lipids steroid amino polysaccharides quinines and glycosides usually these neurotoxins are these two toxics are neurotoxic either cardiotoxic or either cytotoxic now what is mean by neurotoxic neurotoxic it is a type of a toxin which mainly affects the nervous system while cardiotoxic it is a type of a toxin which mainly affecting the heart and the third category that is a psychotoxic that means what it mainly attacks on the cell now as i told you these zoo toxins you are uh, it is secreted and used in the defense mechanism now in this one we are going to study the three examples that is one is the nidarian toxin nidaria is the phylum which mainly having the invertebrate organism one example we can give as a jellyfish and hydra now in this nidaria they are having a tentacles and if you see here at the tip of their tentacle they possess a specialized cell which is called as a nematocyst now these nematocysts they are used in the stinging operation now this nematocyst possesses a toxin which mainly consist of polypeptide and protein this toxin produced by the nidaria it is basically a neurotoxic that means what it is affecting the nervous system now the venom mainly contains lipolytic and proteolytic substances now what is mean by lipolytic lipolytic means it mainly break down the bond between the lipid and proteolytic means it mainly break down the bond between the protein now come to the mechanism and stinging effect whenever the organism is exposed or attacked by this nidarians for example jellyfish after some time it will show some localized effect such as burning sensation throbbing pain redness of skin shock like effect but along with that it also shows some additional symptoms like nausea and vomiting muscle cramp speech can be slurred and frothing with inability to swallow in a severe condition paralysis and further death can be seen now come to the next category that is arthropod toxin here in this one we are going to see 
the example of honey bee now honey bee having a toxin or it produces a toxin and it is an important weapon that honey bee uses for self defense and it is produced in poisonous gland in the abdominal cavity here in the figure you can see at the end of the abdomen there is a presence of poisonous gland now the venom of the honey bee mainly contains apamine plus melatonin phospholipase a2 histamine dopamine and some mast cell degranulated peptides it is said that 50 stings of honey bee can be serious while 100 stings can leads to the death now come to the mechanism and stinging effect of the honey bee toxin whenever the honey bee stinging is seen after some time the barb tip of the sting it remains at the site of injection and further it is showing the localized edema that means what swelling of that region further it will also shows shows erythema that is redness of the skin along with that it also shows nausea vomiting and angioedema now what is mean by angioedema it is nothing but the swelling beneath the skin further along with that it also shows the bacterial infection due to scratching then come to the next category that is reptile venom now here we are going to see the venom of snake and its effect on the body most species of snakes are non venomous and those that have a venom use it primarily to kill and subdue prey rather than for self defense some possesses venom that is a potent enough to cause painful injury or death to the humans now the snake venom it is nothing but a highly modified saliva which facilitate the immobilization and digestion of prey and defense against threat this snake venom it is injected by its unique fang and during the bite further some species along with this can spit their venom and they are called as a spitting spitting cobra now this this venom which is secreted by the snake it is secreted by a salivary gland which is called as a parotid salivary gland you can see here at the back side of their fang there is a parotid salivary gland which contains the venom and it is comes through this venom duct into the fang now the venom of this snake is it is a complex mixture which contains proteins peptides enzymes like a hydrolases peptidases proteases endopeptidases and proteinases along with that it also contains inorganic salts like a calcium potassium sodium magnesium and some unusual metals like a nickel cobalt and iron snake venom is usually a neurotoxic and cardiotoxic that means what it is affecting the nervous system and ultimately it is also affecting the heart in some cases it is a cytotoxic too now let us see the mechanism of action as i told you the snake venom contains many of the enzyme let us see one by one that is first is the protease proteases it is a basically a proteolytic that means it breaks the bond between the protein and it also carries out the hemorrhage action then the second one is hydrolases which mainly acts as a non cholinesterase cholinesterases are the chemical which which is required for sending the signal into the nervous system then the next one is a phosphodiesterase they are acting as a exonucleotidase and mainly attacks on the dna and rna along with that they can create a hypertension and cardiovascular changes into the body the next one is hyaluronidase hyaluronidase permits the entry of other toxins of venom into blood so other toxins can easily get entered into the body 
Along with this, they also contain some neurotoxin. These neurotoxin acts as a neuromuscular blocking agent. Some are the cardiotoxins, which create low blood pressure in the body. Thrombin, which is mainly used as a coagulation of blood. And some hemolytic agents, which mainly carries out the lysis of RBC. Now, after this, we will see the effect of snake biting. As I told you, the after the biting of the snake, it is shows overall effect on the body. As it is a neurotoxic, it is showing the effect on the central nervous system, such as dizziness, fainting, increased thirst, and headache. Along with that, it also attacks on the heart and vessel as it is a cardiotoxic. It shows a rapid pulse, then afterward low blood pressure and severe shock. It also attacks on our muscles and due to that, it shows convulsions, loss of coordination and weakness. Along with that, it also shows the effect on respiratory system that is the person is unable to breathe properly. At the wound site, you will observe the bleeding, fang marks, discoloration, burning sensation and swelling. Along with that, it is also shows the effect on gastrointestinal tract that is person is having a nausea and vomiting. So from this one, it shows the overall effect on our body. So from this, I have shown some picture regarding the snake bite. You can observe here how it is affecting on the organs. So up to this one, we have completed the zoo toxin. And in this one, we have seen the three types of toxin. That is the Nidarian toxin, then the Arthropod toxin and the Reptilian toxin. I hope you, I hope you understand it very well. And another topic from the toxic toxicology we will conclude in the next lecture. Thank you.